everyone. In this video, we're going to dive into VBA, which stands for Visual Basic for Applications. It's a programming language built right into Microsoft Office apps like Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. VBA is super handy for automating tasks, and today we'll walk through two awesome examples. One, how to create a custom formula in Excel to calculate discount amounts. Two, how to set up a message box to clear all values in a data set. Before we can use VBA, you'll need to activate the Developer tab in Excel. Once you've done that, go to the Developer tab and click on Visual Basic to open the editor. On the left side of the editor, you'll see a list of all the Excel files you have open, along with their sheets. The center of the editor is where you'll write your VBA code. Right-click on Sheet 1 in the Project Explorer, that's the list on the left, Insert, and then choose Module. Adding a module like this keeps your code safe, so if Sheet 1 gets deleted, your code won't disappear with it. Start by typing function in the VBA editor. We only want a discount applied if the quantity is greater than 3. If that's the case, we'll give a 10% discount. If not, there's no discount. Once that's done, the end function line should automatically appear to close the function. Close the VBA editor and head back to your Excel file. Type Excel equals discount E3 F3. Replace E3 with the cell for quantity and F3 with the cell for price. If the quantity is more than 3, the formula will apply a 10% discount. If not, it'll show zero blade. You can drag the formula down to apply it to other rows. And that's it. Now you've got a custom Excel function that you made yourself with VBA. So let's say we get this data every week and we need to clear it out regularly. Instead of doing it manually every single time, we can automate it with VBA. Here's how we'll do it. First, open the VBA editor by pressing Alt F11. Once you're in, we're gonna create something called a sub procedure or just sub for short. A sub is basically a list of actions you want Excel to perform for you. To start, type this in, VBA sub clear content, then hit enter, and VBA will automatically create a space for you to write the code. Now let's tell VBA what to do. We want to clear all the data, but keep the headers, so we'll start clearing from row three. To make that happen, type this, VBA rows three and rows dot count, clear contents. Let me break it down. Rows three tells VBA to start from row three. Rows.count figures out how many rows exist in the entire sheet, so it clears all the way down to the bottom. Dot clear contents is the magic part. It clears everything in those rows. Now to run this little program, just hit the play button in the VBA editor, or go to the menu and click run. Once you do that, Excel will instantly clear all the data below the headers. And that's it. Now you've got a simple VBA script that saves you time by automating this process every week. All right, so here's the issue. If someone accidentally clears the content, there's no way to undo it. That's not not ideal. To fix this, we can add a confirmation message box that asks if you're really sure about clearing the content. Here's how to do it. Go back to the Visual Basic Editor. At the top of your code, set up a variable like this. Then add this line right after. VBA if answer equals VB yes, then exit subend if. This checks if the user clicks yes. If they do, the script continues. If not, it stops the operation. Now let's test this out. Go back to the sheet and add some random numbers as test data. Next, return to the VBA editor. If you hit the play button, you'll see a pop-up asking confirm you want to clear. If you click yes, the data will be cleared automatically. One final touch could be to add a button. So let's go back to the sheet, which is just a duplicate copy of the original. From here, go to the developer tab and under insert, select the button control. This button will allow us to clear all the data with a single click. 
assign the button to the clear content macro, hit OK, and then rename the button to clear. Click on the clear button and you'll see the confirmation pop up. If you click yes, it clears everything. Finally, don't forget to save the file as a macro enabled workbook so it works the next time you reopen it. If you're enjoying this VBA tutorial and want to learn more, please hit like and subscribe.